Shout out to G-Man Boxing. All righty, so big news today. The news that we kind of all saw coming, but it's nice. For, for me personally, I like this. I think this is good news. I think it's good for the sport of boxing. Eddie Hearn has announced a five-year broadcasting deal to take his matchroom stable to the zone in the UK, meaning he is leaving Sky. So next week's card, which has Lewis Ritson on it, which has had virtually no publicity at all. It was just kind of announced. It only has three fighters currently confirmed for it. That's going to be his last fight with Sky. All right, no more Adam Smith's virtue signaling, thank God. So it says June Smith, uh, June June Smith it says June twelfth in uh, Newcastle will be his last fight on Sky. New pack at least sixteen shows per year. Uh, initial price for the zone will be one ninety nine. Still, Eddie Hearn. If he's talking about 16 shows in the UK, well, we don't really count last year because it was a bit of an up in the air year. But in 2019, he ran 15 shows in the UK. That was with Sky. So it just gives you a kind of indication it's going to be kind of the same. Uh, Eddie says here, Eddie Hearn has a new five-year deal. It has to be worth nine figures. Uh, we'll begin three weeks of Fight Camp in Matchroom HQ, which I enjoyed Fight Camp last year and I'm going to enjoy it again this year. The whole scenery of it, I think that Eddie Hearn's onto a winner with that because it was fantastic. Hopefully there'll be fans in attendance this time. They won't get, even if you had full attendance, you wouldn't get many in Eddie Hearn's back garden, to be fair. It'd be kind of like those shows in Monaco. Hopefully with a bit more lively crowd, but you're not going to get many jammed into that space. You know, even if you could, even if Wembley Stadium could be filled to full capacity, you wouldn't get many in Eddie Hearn's back garden. I'm sure you wouldn't want that many in either, to be fair. Um, where are we going here? Oh yeah, he says that... Um, he says that this uh, deal is a huge budget with the zone, of course, which will allow him to make pay-per-view level shows at no extra cost with the regular within the regular subscriptions. This is tremendous news for fans. We can make big fights, stack cards, pay-per-view night as part of the schedule, which is one other good thing as well that I have to say is brilliant, is the fact that you're paying for what you want. You're paying your monthly subscription but you're not paying any extra. Like with Sky, you pay your monthly subscription, which is there, and then pay for you on top of that. He's clarified that Anthony Joshua is not part of the new The Zone UK deal. AJ's Sky deal expires after his next fight. So potentially could be after he fights Usek or Dylan White next. Uh, on AJ's promotional deal with him, Hearn said we'll be announcing, well, there will be an announcement soon. It's an interesting deal. Um, that's a major move for us all interesting and last but certainly not least he went on to say this is all from IFL by the way he says that the, the price for the zone will remain at 199 a month it's 199 a month over here as well in euros so there's no like exchange rate it's 199 for us too he said fight camp will start on 31st of July 7th of August and 14th of August then there will be an increase for the autumn and the winter shows he says I know the price point uh, I know. I, I sorry. I know the price point. It will be, and you're going to be extremely happy with that. So I would imagine that will be in around the five to six quid mark. Probably five ninety nine, six quid, give or take. Wow. So Eddie Hearn. We all kind of knew this was happening. Um, it's been hinted at for a while. Frank Warren actually hinted at a seconds out interview yesterday that he knows who's taking over the boxing on Sky. It's a guy called John, I forget, I can't really pronounce the guy's last name, it begins with a W, but essentially he used to work within Matchroom, he was the guy, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong in this, but I believe he's the guy who came up with the concept of Prize Fighter, for those who don't know what Prize Fighter is, it's the little tournament that Sky, Eddie Hearn used to run them up until as far back as 2016, where they would kind of take, kind of bit like what Ultimate Fighter is, where you just kind of take like guys who are just knocking about, you know, Rocky Field and won it, and you just put them in, three rounders it's like amateur three rounders quarter final semi final final and the winner would get i think like 30 40k you get a decent payday and they were fighting pretty much nobody's so he was the guy who came up with that so it, it could be he's kind of the guy they're talking about who's taking over with sky in terms of the zone i think this is fantastic um i will be cancelling sky with immediate effect sky sports anyway after the next card because i no longer need to pay for it because I was paying for Sky and F1. I don't really watch too much football. I like football, but I don't watch too much of it. I like playing golf, don't watch golf. I can stream F1 on any other platform. Don't really watch the arts anymore. Never liked rugby. So for me, spending, and it's dear. Sky Sports is dear. For me, spending all that money, no. So that'll be gone. Um, Sky Sports as a whole have been go. They've been terrible over the last few years. They really have. 
Adam Smith, I, I watched JJ, uh, yeah, it was JJ Metcalf when he fought um, Ted Cheeseman on that card in Gibraltar. Because I actually watched that, I watched the design comment for that whole card, but the design commentary wasn't working for that fight, and I had to watch the Sky one. And what Adam Smith, the stuff he was pushing was just, it was just horrific. And from that sense, I, I know the zone, they don't push, they don't virtue signal and push things like Sky do, which I'm thankful about. And I just think the quality of the zone, like the quality of that Canelo Smith card or that Canelo Saunders card was just brilliant. It was much improved from the zone. Eddie Hearn has said that he'll have his own kind of broadcasting team that he's looking to get, which is good. So it's going to be something hopefully fresh and new. I really struggle to find any reason to be unhappy about this. I think it's absolutely fantastic news. I think that it's going to the stage now where we're getting what we want. We're paying for what we want because, like I said, you pay for Sky, it's dear. You're getting a lot of sports that you may not have any interest in, whereas now you're paying for exactly what you want. You know, you're getting pay-per-view quality shows. He's saying here, and I believe we will, um, at really, you're only paying for what you want. And it's if it's one ninety nine for the summer and it goes to, say, €6 or £6, I still think it'll be below £10, put it like that. I don't think it's going to go over that. That's still a very good deal, as far as I'm concerned, you know, compared to what we were getting with Sky and then having to pay pay-per-view on top of that. That's a very good deal. The quality of the Sky shows, in general, as a whole, long before 2020 had been going down for years. I mean, I remember Adam Smith in 2017 and saying, the more pay-per-views we have, the means the better Sky Fight Night shows we get. Well, that was absolutely not true because they didn't get any better. If anything, they regressed. If anything, we were getting even worse Sky Fight Nights you know and on top of that we were getting a lot of pay-per-views like look at last year we got Chisora versus Usek on pay-per-view you know there was talk about you know putting Josh Kelly versus Conor Ben on pay-per-view both guys got through their respective fights you know we just had that abs- I, I thought that Chisora Parker card was absolutely terrible you know and that was on pay-per-view as well so the quality of Sky Fight Nights as well as pay-per-view has been dropping so I'm hoping now with the zone pumping money in we'll get much better fights at much better cards I hope. And like I said, in 2019, Matchroom put on 15 shows in the UK. I might be missing one or two, but that's what... I went on to Eddie Hearn's box rec and I made sure to check the UK shows. So in terms of their the UK shows, in terms of the US shows and international shows, God only knows there could be many more of them, but it's looking good. It's looking good. So he says that at li- minimum 16 could be more. You know, it might see some of them next-gen shows make a comeback. Now, those next-gen shows were nothing to write home about. It was just basically up-and-coming prospects beating up journeyman. But still, boxing's boxing at the end of the day. You know, I, I'll take it. So, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, let me know yours. Are you excited about this? Or, I'd be interested to know if you're not. I, I, I'd struggle to see how anyone couldn't be excited about this. But let me know in the comment section if you feel as though Eddie Hearn's making a big mistake with his own and we should keep with Sky. I'd be interested to know your thoughts in the comment section. But for now, lads and lads, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm very pleased about it. Looking forward to hearing about what's happening next with Fight Camp. As for Sky, yeah, I'm saving money. So it's a good thing. It's a very good thing, you know. And I'm not someone who's, you know, like penny pinch or anything like that. But I'm not paying for something that I don't need anymore. So thanks, but no thanks. I'll leave you with that. Smash the like button if you if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. Hit the notification bell as well. Helps your boy out. Hashtag Gmans rocks. All that good stuff, lads and lads. I'll talk to you. Peace.